From the shadows to the spotlight, undocumented students at WSU Vancouver may soon notice a difference in university awareness of immigration issues. A statewide coalition met on campus this past Wednesday to provide training on ongoing reform laws for undocumented students. This is a webinar training on undocumented students. It's free and it's paid by the National Association of Student Financial Aid Administrators. Coalition coordinator Marcella Pattinson led the meeting and routinely travels across the state training university staff. It is to understand the process of admission and financial aid to the one single family. Right now, we have 12 states that allowed undocumented students to get in-state tuition. In our state, is the HB 1079. We always try to motivate them why they're here. Our mission is to disseminate HB 1079 law through the state. So they don't know how to help the students to go to school. They don't know the process. They don't know they have loans. In addition to being trained on HB 1079, faculty and staff were asked to try and place themselves in the shoes of an undocumented student and discuss the day-to-day -day barriers students may face. Are, now are they going to be able to continue in school? Especially this might cause a financial hardship to pay for repairs, assuming they're even everybody's working with family or working low-paid jobs. Such barriers initially appeared lessened by President Obama's Deferred Action Process, or DACA program, but changes must still be made regionally to accommodate DACA students. How we prepare our campus to work with as students? What well, procedures and the things we have in place to open our campus to our DACA students? Action, Local immigration specialists emphasize that deferred action is only a temporary fix, not a solution. They were hopeful that this will lead towards citizenship or lawful permanent resident, which unfortunately not, it's not the case. So it's a deferred action, which means it's uh, something that's temporarily um, available to them. And deferred action may be temporary, but the coalition remains hopeful immigration reform will pass, including a state financial aid package for undocumented students. We need agents. Reporting for the Vancouver, this is Jacob Schmidt.